Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you how to get yourself out of a uh, pinch here. Uh, let's say you have a gasket that splits, um, or you have one that tears off when you're working on something, or you just have a gasket blowout. Um, regardless, I'm going to show you how to get a gasket, and it could last you a day, a week. It could get you through a whole season. So... Um, the reason I'm doing this is because the other day I had got a part in the mail that was supposed to come with all the gaskets and it was missing one and the only way for me to get it would have been to reorder the gasket from somewhere so I'm going to show you what you can do in a pinch now if you've ever gotten new gaskets uh, this one's more of like a uh, a composite like rubberish type of thing um, but you'll get some every once in a while and you're like man those just look like cardboard so they basically are um, so I'm gonna show you we got these two things here this is a toilet paper roll and another good thing to use um, I prefer the toilet paper roll but you can also use like um, boxes uh, you know, for food like um, cereal, this is macaroni and cheese, um, just whatever type of box you can find. Uh, you want it to be a thinner material. You don't want it to feel like a cardboard box um, where it's kind of loose filling and uh, very soft. You want the dense, like packaging cardboard. Now, the toilet paper roll is a pretty dense one, and uh, the reason I like it, it doesn't have any of the ink on one side or the other so I'm gonna go with this one and I'll just show you how we do this here so I need a spot that's good and flat it doesn't have this crease in it I'll just see if I can unroll it sometimes you can sometimes you gotta cut them this one's coming apart. Don't put too much thought into this, it's going to work. So, Luckily I've got the old gasket. Uh, if you don't have the old gasket, go off of the part that you're trying to make one for. So, I'm going to just copy this. This is what our gasket's going to look like. Uh, like I said, if you don't have the gasket, you're going to have to kind of just fiddle around with it until you get it just right. So the main thing is just sealing off any edges that can draw air. All right, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut the actual center holes out, if I can get this thing out. So, I'll start with this big one in the middle. And like I said, it doesn't have to be precise. Uh, if you got a butterfly valve or something on a carburetor that's going to hit it, you do want to uh, make sure you got enough space on the gasket. So a little bigger hole could be better in that situation. Try not to scratch this up too much, but if I was on a bench, wooden bench, I wouldn't care. Alright, so there's one. Now the bolt holes. I've got a hobby knife, this thing works great. Uh, you get a little finer point on it. And, but a normal razor blade is just fine. This is just better for somebody that doesn't have a real steady hand. Alright, let's 
So let's go ahead and get the main gasket cut out here. your emergency gasket and like I said this uh, will probably get you through a day it could get you through a whole season uh, it just depends on the cardboard like uh, this box right here it's a little thicker uh, but what I don't like about it is the ink which ain't that big a deal but anyways there's your emergency gasket